Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your singles reading for January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Sagittarius, this is intended for singles. So you do have to be single in some way. Now you could be separated from somebody or wondering about an ex or something like that. But uh, or wondering if you're totally single, when am I going to meet somebody? You're going to see how the energies play out here. If you are connected to somebody, you may want to watch the Love Connection reading I do every month. That, that may also resonate for you. You can check the description box below for uh, Sagittarius Playlist. Find the Love Playlist and click in there and find the Love Connection readings. And also, Sagittarius, if you watched my past singles reading, uh, this style is a little bit different. I sort of created a new spread. So you can let me know in the comments below which style you like better. If you're not familiar with my other style, you can also check the love playlist and find the November and December singles readings and tell me which one you like better. Or I can do both or whatever here. So And you can check uh, description box, tons of stuff down there, uh, decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for personal reading, tons of stuff down there. So please feel free to check it out. So, welcome in, Sagittarius. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a fantastic Christmas. Happy New Year. Oh, so we had two that fell out over here. Okay, that one fell out first. I'm going to take that one, and we'll get one more. Okay, that one. So we have Pisces, and we have Mercury, which is Gemini. So these are the possible signs. And Mercury is all about truth, clarity, um, ideas, the mind, uh, communication, and that sort of energy. So we'll see how that plays out into your reading, Sagittarius. So let's see, Sagittarius. First thing I'm going to do here is pull like an opening energy. Now this could be your energy. It could be your uh, well, I don't want to say a person. This has to be somebody. Well, I'm going to get an energy. It could be a possible incoming person's energy, your energy, a possible future mutual energy. So let's see what we get here. So opening energy, see what we get. We get an energy for Sagittarius at this time. I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you like to go back and watch past playlists, then please feel free to do that past readings we have the dream something is revealed insight and breakthrough in four which is a very divinely guided number four well four is about basis foundation uh stability something is revealed insight and breakthrough somebody has a breakthrough here about something hmm, i don't know let's see so let's get somebody could be having dreams uh I'm trying to figure out what's going on um, something may be revealed in dreams, some sort of, okay, let's put one here. So Sagittarius, I'm going to put energy on this side and energy on that side. I'm going to say if you resonate with one of these sides, I guess you could pick a side. So we're going to see how these energies are independently and then how they may come together. And once the energies are together, how that'll play out, how that energy will play out. So Let's see what is on this side. So we have achievement. Keep focused on your dream. 17 is 8. 8 is about taking action, movement, travel. This side is working, working on their dreams. And we got the dream there. Wow. <laughs> and working on your dream here. Wow. Okay. Alrighty. And over here we have sacred journey, life cycles, family, and transformation. 22 which is four again with the basis and the foundation. Two, two, that's the twin flame number, just saying. So this side is on a journey through life cycles, through family, transformation, sacred journey. So this side has been, been through it, I feel. This side, I'm getting like an independent energy and this side, we're just working on themselves, their dreams, um, on their achievements, moving forward, moving forward. But I don't know what that dream energy is. So let's see what's on the bottom. We have moonlight, travel, romance, and potential. 36 is a nine. And nine is, you know, it's almost at an ending. And then 10 is a one new, is a ending. And then one is a new beginning. Something has potential here. 
a romantic potential. But this travel, I don't know what the travel is, but it could be traveling in dreams. And the Mercury is all about the mind. So, you know, dreams have to do with the mind. So, um, hmm. Okay. This person I feel like has been through it, has been through some things. Um, but I feel like they're, you know, transforming out of cycles. They've been through cycles. So let's see. And that moonlight can also over here represent, you know, not seeing things clearly, kind of like the moon energy in the tarot. So, and then we have the moon showing here again, what moonlight and dreams and okay. So let's get some, let's get one more shuffle. Let's get some any energy around here for achievement on this side. The Sagittarius. Yeah, this, <laughs> this person is working hard on achievement, on working on something new here. It could be a new business. It could be a new job. It could be something here, working hard on achieving their goals. And there's the goal. Here's the big pentacle in here in hand, divinely guided energy. Whatever they're working on is divinely guided for them. Uh, it's going to lead to growth, abundance, you know, building the foundation now for the future, for this, this pentacle here. Okay. So what else? Knight of Cups. So moving forward with a lot of, you know, drive, ambition, um, love, compassion, peace and harmony. Okay. Let's get one more. Okay. Two of Cups. So. I mean, that's usually the soulmate card, but this person could be doing something that they're totally aligned with, that is totally suited for them, that they're totally in love with. They just absolutely love what they're doing. They feel like they're living out their life purpose. They're trying hard to achieve that goal, you know, their main purpose for the future. Wow, okay. This person's on the right path. So let's see about this person over here. Well, this did fall in reverse. Ace of Cups, so... Hmm, okay. It's in reverse, though. That's usually a divinely guided brain in beginning in love, but in reverse, yeah, four of swords energy, exactly. Transformation. Here's the transformation. Resting, healing, recuperating, rejuvenating, retreating, healing, and transforming. Out of some a situation here, which I feel there's, uh, you know, with this in reverse, Ace of Cups, that is like love overflowing, but in reverse is no more love in a situation. So now healing from that. Okay. It's been another one. Death. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's spirits just spitting it out today. So <laughs> yeah, death of a situation here. There's no more love and healing. So this person could have had a family. They could have been married. It could have been a long-term commitment. Um, you know, been through the cycles of it. Now it's just ending, transforming, ending. Death is always about endings and transforming out of that energy. And then we have transformation here. So this person is ending something, healing from that. The love is gone. It's no more. And just on a new journey now, transformed out of that energy. This person, I think, is just work concentrating on their future, their goals, their dreams. All right. So let's get another one over here. Yeah. Balancing energy here with the temperance card. So that's your energy, Sagittarius. So I don't know if you feel like this is your sign, but this is your energy with Sagittarius um, energy here. So this person over here is balanced. I mean, this is the temperance angel, which brings in divinely guided energy, brings in things meant to be, a patience, healing, um, balance, usually brings like soulmates back together or it could just be aligning this person with their true purpose in life and they're achieving that they're on their way to achieving their dream wow okay so what about this person over here what about this person over here yeah hierophant here so this could have been an ending and let's write on the death card so yeah definitely an ending of a marriage over here um very committed to that energy at one time you know that's about faith hope you know values uh, morals religion commitments marriage that kind of energy structure you know common law that kind of energy 
but I feel like, yeah, wow. <laughs> I mean, look at this love, all the loves out of that cup. It's upside down. I mean, it's gone. It's like ran out. It's gone forever. Healing from that, letting it end, transforming out of that, out of what was something that was once committed. Hmm. So how in the world are these energies going to come together? Well, we got the hermit. So retreating and going off alone. It could be that um, for some of you, you could go on a retreat, an actual retreat, to do this deep soul searching journey work, healing work. If you feel like this is your side and you've been through this, it's like maybe you go on a retreat or you do something here where you really work on yourself. And maybe that's how you meet this person. We do have Virgo here with the Hermit, which is fall time. Well, actually, no, it's the end of August into, into uh, September. So that would be some, the end of summer. So, I mean, you could have met this person at the end of summer, going into, you know, the summertime, end of summertime. Hmm, okay. So let's get more any energy on this, how this is going to come together. Knight of Pentacles energy. Yeah, this person here is like working on their like work, like working on their achieving their goals. Definitely doing something they're totally in love with, totally aligned with that brings them peace, harmony, balance. That temperance angel leading them and guiding them in the right direction, following their dreams. Hmm. Okay. Five of Pentacle energy here. Loss, abandonment, feel, feeling left out in the cold. But then we get the Ten of Cups. What? This person feeling lonely and abandoned, left out in the cold from once that was once a happy home and family. And this person is working on their achieving their goals. So, how this is coming together? Let's see. Um, you could have met them at work could be somebody new that you worked with. All right, let's get a couple more a couple more energies here. Yeah, the four of pentacles holding back, holding on to what you uh, you know what you have, not letting go kind of energy. 10 of wands laying down burdens here. Wow. <laughs> Could be could be somebody that you work with or somebody you met on a retreat. Uh, but somebody's holding back because they're still trying to release burdens here. Um, somebody else is concentrating on them on themselves, also trying to achieve their goals in life and their dreams. Because we do have travel over here. So it could be, I mean, that you go on vacation if it's not a retreat, and that's how you meet this person also. It could be travel, work, vacation, going on a, a retreat, actual retreat. Um, that's how you meet this person. But um, I see, still see a lot of holding back energy because of still trying to lay down burdens, whether it's you or them. Hmm, okay. So what is the outcome of this? So, so obviously, you know, it does connect here. So there is some sort of connection here, but there's holding back because, and I feel like it's coming from this side. Um, what could a possible outcome be here? Well, there we got commitment here with the four of wands and that's the twin flame card. Wow. So we do have commitment here, uh, ceremony, celebrations, um, of some kind or just going out and saying, Hey, just meeting up, you know, that kind of energy. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So moving forward, finally moving forward with drive, ambition, passion, uh, go get our energy balance, finally moving forward from toxic energy. So yeah, somebody finally moving forward from toxic energy here. I feel like it's on this side, finally moving out of that toxic energy. Now feeling very passionate, creative, moving forward. Could also be this energy over here of uh, being very passionate, creative, moving forward. 
but still juggling things around here with the two of pentacles somebody's still juggling they're trying to gain truth and clarity here with the ace of swords divine energy divinely guided new beginning uh sort of victory needing to cut away all the bs standing up for the self and not taking any bs five of swords not taking that um energy anymore that uh egotistical kind of energy like trying to outdo one another or trying to um, be the victor all the time, just kind of petty energy. Yeah, rushing here. Ten of Pentacles um, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, rushing out of that, now becoming single. So Ten of Pentacles is like the marriage card. Knight of Swords is like rushing in, rushing out, rushing the bullshit away, cutting the bullshit away, being kind of reckless though, but now stable independent energy with the nine of pentacles but now we do have success and victory here with the six of wands but somebody still not sure about an offer here you know wanting their happiness and joy and wish fulfillment but then here's communication coming in and a love offer so <laughs> working on it well so finally working on a love offer making that communication and wish fulfillment dreams coming true after being like well geez i don't know and now, you know, success and victory, becoming single, rushing in, out, cutting away all this uh, petty energy, backstabbing energy, you know, Ten of Pentacles, could have been a marriage, long-term commitment, juggling here, getting the truth and clarity, rushing forward, a lot of drive, ambition, and passion, and getting in their vehicle and driving away from that toxic energy getting away from it so there is a potential here for um at least going out seeing where it goes um kind of energy once somebody releases something that's no longer serving them they're becoming independent i do see an offer here but then someone being like well i don't really know but then then they want it then they communicate then there's finally a love offer okay let's work on it but it's a lot of like confused energy here so I mean, we do have uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. We do have, let's see, um, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Um, Leo Sag Aries. Uh, let's see, Aries, Cancer, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Sagittarius, that's your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, uh, Scorpio, I mean um libra gemini aquarius so a lot of energy here i just see a lot of confused energy of yes no yes no this person's confused this person knows what they want they're working on achieving their goals they know who they are and they know what they want and this person's like yes no hot and cold so this does have potential but whether or not somebody can get out of hot and cold energy uh maybe maybe things could get I don't know more positive once this person totally uh, lets go of something here so I mean you could know this person from work you could just meet them um, or have met them like towards the end of summer like I said either on vacation on a retreat or from work or something like that but and I see there's a connection but I don't know a lot of stuck energy on this side so Sagittarius I'm going to get some closing messages from this deck if you do like how I read uh, please do like share subscribe comment hit the bell you won't miss out um, you can check out my channel for us if you like to if you like what you see please do subscribe and hit the bell thank you to everybody who supported my channel whichever way you've supported it's truly appreciated so thank you thank you thank you let's get a message closing message here for Sag obedience and we have 84 here which is uh 12 which is three is about working together teamwork collaboration so somebody obe being obedient here to uh what they know is the right thing to do and sticking to that through this uh journey through these cycles through this transformation you know being obedient to whatever here a contract or whatever so let's see on the bottom of the deck we have strength and we have 35, which is 8, which is about travel, action, communication. This reminds me of the Leo card, uh, the strength energy. So being strong, courageous, and brave, 
uh, having willpower, determination, uh, holding back when you need to, moving forward when you need to. So telling you to be strong here. This could be a very strong connection or have the potential to be one. Um, it can move forward a lot of drive, ambition, and success here. You do have the Twin Flame card as a possible outcome with, um, you know, happy home and family, commitment of some kind. Wow, Sagittarius. Okay, so uh, best of luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.